Hey guys, Lindsay here. Happy Saturday. Yes, I am laying on my couch because I'm exhausted from this week. I didn't put any makeup on this morning because I just really didn't feel like it. I didn't have to go out of the house, but my eyebrows are looking pretty good. My skin is looking great. There are wonderful benefits to being in an aesthetics class because we get free skincare basically because um, we have to practice a lot of the treatments and stuff on each other so we not only know how it feels but then we also don't have to go out and find models so my skin actually feels really good since we've started school and I've been using some of the products that we were given to try at home my skin feels better than it's felt in a long time I've been losing weight um, which is a good thing I've been trying to lose weight for a long time and now that I'm on a regular schedule for school and stuff and I'm eating healthier it's great um, I actually lost three inches off my waist in just under two months so I'm super excited however my scrub pants are hard to um, keep up I have to have them tied really tight and I have to wear a pair of shorts underneath them just to keep them on so anyway to update everybody on what's been going on um, my husband doesn't feel well today because he's been uh, stepping up his game big time and helping out around the house and just uh, he basically has been doing all of his work at his job working nine hours a day coming home getting the kids from school and then doing all of my household duties while I'm at school I go to school from 9 to 5 Monday through Friday and then um, basically I'm gone from 8 o'clock in the morning till almost 6 o'clock at night and so my husband has to help the kids with his homework he doesn't have to he has just chosen to do all this he helps them with their homework he gets dinner ready if my older son's not here to help he's been doing dishes I feel I do still do like some of the laundry and stuff um, he washes his own clothes of course I have been doing some laundry this morning getting uh, breakfast made and all that and like I said my husband doesn't feel well today because he has been doing so much around here and I am so grateful that I have a husband that has just stepped up without really having to be asked I mean Yes, I could come home and do all the stuff. However, he has been nice enough to let me do all my homework. And I kid you not, I have had about an hour to two hours of homework every night since I started school for the past three weeks. And my kids, I feel so bad because I haven't been able to spend a whole lot of time with them. But they have been great. And just um, being mindful that mommy has to do all this. I actually have to go into work today too for a little while because I feel bad that I've kind of left my mom alone with everything. But anyway, school's been going good. Um, I am not sure what my GPA is at the moment, but before I took a test yesterday, I had a 95.5% in the class and 100% attendance. Um, we got a chance to actually do a facial on a model yesterday, so that went well. I did pretty good, considering it was my first time doing it on someone other than um, one of my fellow students. Actually, I did do it on a student, but not one of my classmates. It was someone in the cosmetology program. Um, but she said she enjoyed it, so I guess that's good. And as far as everything else, like, around the house, things have been a little bit stressful. Uh, if I hadn't mentioned this before... Oh, sorry, I had to change positions there. I was hurting my neck. Uh, I was rear-ended. And long story short... I didn't get the girl's information. She was kind of flustered, and I think she may have been in some sort of situation where she wasn't supposed to be driving the vehicle she was in, and she may have been on her phone. I don't know, but I ended up she ended up driving off, and so I reported it to my insurance as a hit and run. Um, and now we have a five hundred dollar deductible to get the van fixed, and it's over two thousand dollars worth of damage but it's still drivable so and I'm waiting to get it fixed so that I don't have to worry about finding a vehicle to use um, while I'm at school we don't have rental car on our insurance so 
That's a bummer, but if I wait until I'm out of school for our holiday break, I won't have to worry about it. Thankfully, we have most of the Christmas shopping done. Um, the rest of Christmas is going to be handmade gifts and my um, apple butter that I made last year for family and friends. It was really good, so I'm going to make it again. I've been saving up jars. Yeah, I know we've been on the spending freeze. Uh, it didn't really go as planned because once I started school, I realized there were some things I still needed for school that we weren't told about until after we started. I knew I was going to need a case for the iPad that they give us with our program, but I had to wait until we actually were given the iPad so I knew what size to buy. I bought a few clothing items, things to wear with my scrubs, of course, like shirts to wear underneath. Um, that was kind of a necessity. I didn't have to buy extra clothes to wear for the dress up days that we have, um, but I didn't really have anything to wear. Like we do spirit weeks and we do other things like that. So, but it was basically purchased with money. I knew that we could afford to spend my husband and I kind of talked about it. So he let me spend it. Other than that though, we haven't spent any extra and we've been watching our spending on groceries and things like that. Fuel cost was more than I thought it would be. I assumed I'd probably go through a tank and a half of gas going back and forth to school. I didn't account for uh, traffic. I didn't also didn't really account for extra errands I'd have to run. For instance, I had cracked a tooth. Because of traffic, it took me almost 20 minutes to get from my school to the dental office. Then I get to the dental office, they do my x-rays and everything, and then tell me they can't do the filling on the tooth because of technical difficulties with their equipment that evening. So I will have to go back. And I have to wait a whole month. I have to wait till after Christmas and after New Year's to get my tooth filled. So in the meantime, I have to keep it patched up with the um, temporary patch that I bought from a store a while ago. And if I run out of that, I'm going to have to buy more. On a good note, my husband has a, a, a card that has a um, spending account for medications and things, so that's helpful. And because it's the holidays, my kids have come home with notes from school saying they have to send in money to purchase things to either make gifts for Secret Santa or they have to purchase something to give as a gift, which I think is ridiculous, but whatever because not everybody can afford to do that especially when they have multiple children they have to you know buy things for my family has been very gracious in helping us when there's unforeseen uh, issues so that's a big help and that's kind of been an unspoken agreement with our family for a long time that we help each other no matter what we have a christmas tree up it's actually not finished because I didn't get enough ribbon to go around the tree. <laughs> and the ribbon was a dollar a roll, but I decided I'm not going to buy any more. I'm just going to leave it, let the kids decorate it with their uh, other ornaments. We don't buy special ornaments. Most of the most of the ornaments on the tree are things the kids have made throughout the years or ornaments people give it, gave us. We haven't really bought any ornaments for the tree in the past like three years. So we're just hanging out today, having a fun day. But I thought I'd update you all on how things were going as far as school and our spending freeze and all that. We're still able to pay our bills, keep the lights on, things like that. So, and school is going great. I passed, I think I said I passed my test yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I had a test yesterday. It was a rough one. Some of the girls in my class didn't pass or came really close to passing. Um, it was a difficult one, though. But anyway, we've had a lot going on, and I will um, give y'all another update soon. See you later. God bless.